This is the first video in the third topic of the Everyday Physics course. This video is an introduction to the topic, how does a hot air balloon work? Hello and welcome to the third topic in the Everyday Physics course. In this topic, we're going to be considering how a hot air balloon works. To consider this, we're going to start by considering gravity. As the hot air balloon has to overcome gravity in order to lift off. When we consider gravity, we're also going to have a quick look at air resistance because that happens in the atmosphere. So objects falling out of a hot air balloon would experience some air resistance on the way down. Now it's actually a buoyancy force when we heat the air inside the hot air balloon which causes it to rise off the ground. So after considering gravity, we're going to look at the buoyancy force and we're going to look at Archimedes' principle. You're actually going to be conducting an investigation of Archimedes' principle. This was very exciting because it was literally the first eureka moment in science. In order to do this investigation, you're going to need a measuring cylinder and a small bottle that can be completely submerged within your measuring jug. You're also going to need some kitchen scales which allow you to measure mass. The more accurate, the better. So once you've watched the videos from this topic, have a go at this Archimedes investigation. After we've looked at Archimedes principle and the buoyancy force, we're going to be considering the ideal gas law. As the ideal gas law tells us what happens to gas as its temperature changes, and this is actually what makes it decrease in density, which allows it to have a buoyancy force as it's heated. So I hope you enjoy this topic. So special thanks to Sebastian Frick for filming this video. Also thanks to these people who provided photos with the Creative Commons license of hot air balloons.